guys, welcome to Sunday. We were just come to let the horses in. And they're already on the move. Our horses love to go into their shelter, which is odd because we bought them that shelter and they don't use it. They like their arena. They love their arena. Gabby is at Kaylee. She came and picked her up last night. Now that Kaylee has her license, we see a lot less of Gabby. Oh. <laughs> She's like, look how shiny. Look. Molly. So, look how gorgeous you are. Willow was over there and she heard me close the door and she came to the gate. Yeah, Willow has been phenomenal about this. I think it's because she's dark and she gets hot. Our horses are picky. They like this arena. What's wrong, Pen? Hey, there you go. Is something itching you? Oh, I think she thinks there's a bug on her. Penny is in heat. Once one horse goes into heat, they all go into heat. It's just the way that it happens. Penny had a big horse fly on her neck, and I said, Penny, I can help you, so she stopped running. I, yeah, she was telling me. I was like, where, is there a bug on you? Because she was acting like there was a bug on her. And then Sophie saved her. Aww. Is there another? Anyway, welcome to today. I haven't straightened my hair yet. This is what it looks like when I wake up. It's kind of like Sophie's a little. It could be the heat or it could be that there's a little bit more bugs out in the field, in the grassy field. I don't know what it is, but they always are ready to come in at this time of day. Like they always are just ready and they come in here and then they just stand around, let the breeze blow through them and have their nap, their afternoon nap. And then we later put them out on grass later in the evening. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what is wrong with Penny, but I think it's probably because she's in heat. But she keeps on asking Sophie to do something for her and we're not sure what it is. She doesn't want Sophie to leave. And Gracie just wants to smell the poo. <laughs> Does it seem so strange though, like how horse care has evolved and changed over the years? Gracie's over there looking out. She's like, I just watch everything that's happening. We have friends that their horses don't go out in the winter if the weather is bad. Our mares don't like bugs because they have the opportunity to stand inside this arena where the shade, where it's shady and cool, there's a nice cross breeze and there's not very many bugs. It's crazy, she just is in love with Sophie today. Kill one bug and she, she's such a traitor. <laughs> it's so true though, like, the care for animals has gotten better and better and better where they don't have to like withstand elements and things that horses traditionally have to deal with. It's just incredible to me the level that people go to to try and keep their horses as comfortable as possible and not have to deal with things that in the past horses have notoriously had to deal with. Right Willow? Right? Penny's just loving Sophie over there. All right, come on over here, Sylvia. I'm going to ask you some questions about the chance. I know, you're addicted to my girl. I've dreamt before that Sophie takes over my girl, that they fall in love and that she loves Sophie. Just over one bug. Just over one bug kill. Look at her ears. Did a bug go in your ear? Like No, uh, uh, that thing keeps... Oh, there's oh. a little tiny... Little tiny fly flying around. <laughs> it's like a moth or I something. Yeah. Are you afraid of bugs, Penny Pickle? No, Mom. That is a horse fly. Oh, it was a horse fly. Smaller one, and it keeps landing oh. on her face, so she keeps freaking out. Yeah. Oh, I see it. I just saw it. Oh, you guys have already seen a Sophie's riding her horse show video. It was so much fun, so amazing. Sophie, come sit down. Let's talk about your horse show. All right, you don't have to but sit I'm down. All right, you protect Penny. Okay, so Sophie, how do you feel that you did at that horse show? What were you most happy about? What were, are you most um, proud of? I was able to watch Brandon run. Yeah, she, Brandon runs funny. Do you guys remember that video where he was helping us catch the mini when she got free? Yeah, this mini. Yeah. But if you just have a treat, she'll come to you now. Yeah, so anyways, he does run funny. So the story was, tell them the story, Sophie. Uh, Brandon was away and it was Sophie's turn to go out into the ring and Brandon ran across the field to get to her and Sophie was just watching and she just thought that was funny. Do you know what my favorite thing is that I'm the most proud of? Yes, but I forget. So you guys know like Sophie's always been more like me and less confident and she's always been like, can you help me with this and can you help me with that? And at the horse show, she did everything herself. Penny's like, did she now? <laughs> 
She did every single thing herself. She didn't ask anybody for help. She was like a mature, responsible teenager, and she's not even a teenager yet. It just was incredible to watch her and to see her progression the last couple of months. I think that selling Finn was such a huge thing that needed to happen for Sophie's growth. And it was really hard and really awful, and it's still really hard, but I think it, it, it changed Sophie in such a huge way. Um. Flies biting her. Yeah. And then she to freak out. She, yeah, she shakes. And when we say freak out, we mean she acts like a horse. She shakes her body. And we know that horses have everything they need to handle bugs and and sun and, and all the other things out there. But I just think it's amazing that our horses <laughs> are not used to having to handle that. No They're a little bit on the spoiled side, maybe. Like, I swear they ask us to bring them in here every single day. And Anyways, so the other thing that was so shocking and amazing to me at the horse show was that Sophie didn't need any like babysitting. She didn't need any, any. I needed water, but everyone needs water. Yeah, did you need water? Yeah, and... remember I asked you, but I said my drink instead because. Oh yeah, so what was really crazy to me is that she just got on her horse and went out there and knew what she needed to do and then just did it like. It, it was so shocking to me. She didn't like have any nerves. Did you have any nerves in that horse show? Yes. You I did? In the arena. Really? Each before each round? Yeah, every single that horse show, I get that. And then did you go in there and when you're riding, you feel fine? Yeah, I, I forget to breathe when I'm riding. Wow. Because I, I try to remember the course. Yeah. And then I forget to breathe because if I breathe, then my brain forgets everything. Yeah, and Sophie's good at remembering the course. I could never do that, but she, she gets that. Like, I, I, she's, I'm so glad that we don't have to help her with that. But honestly, I, that was the, I was so proud of that show, and I know Gabby's already at that stage, and she doesn't need me and she, for that kind of stuff. She doesn't need me to like make her feel more confident and more strong, and, and she, she can do that for herself. And it's just, Sophie's there, you guys. She got there. And she's only 12 and Gabby was kind of starting to get there by 11 and then she started to get even more like that when she was 12 the same as Sophie it's just that Sophie's my youngest and to see it all happening again has just been really amazing let's fight over Sophie <laughs> Lula loves her forelock being put up yeah do you like it she wants treats right now do you want your forelock being put up look at how cute you are she little Winnie right little Willow She's like, Get away. sometimes Sophie and I just spend so much time in here and sometimes Gabby will come too and she'll just hang out in here and Kaylee too last night my son came by and they had a fire and I was exhausted and I wanted to go out there and be at the fire but I just was laying in bed like I was I just so tired me. I was just so tired and I was just laying in bed minding my own business and all of a sudden somebody just comes walking into my room and she says, Laura, Laura, did you get my message? And I was like, who is that voice? And it was Kaylee. <laughs> it was Kaylee and she had sent us all these messages but nobody got it and she wanted to know if Gabby wanted to sleep over. But it was just really neat, like a rite of passage where we didn't even know Kelly was coming. She could just stop in because she has a car now and she just drives around and like that was really cool. Do you want to tell the viewers something? Do you want to tell them something? She's like, yeah, Sophie's not. <laughs> She's like, I'm really hot. I'm really, oops. She's like, I'm really hot. I'm really tired. Is that what you want to tell them? It's hard to be a horse? I'm getting the bugs away from your eyeballs. People take me and stuff all the time and I never like know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I just follow all the notifications. And this morning I got tagged in something that asked said like what were you thinking when you started leasing an off-track thoroughbred for Sophie and I was thinking like that is such a good question like what were we thinking and the truth is that we didn't see an off-track thoroughbred that was young we saw a calm quiet horse that had been in a training program with an incredible trainer, a trainer that actually reminds me of Sophie. She's just very gentle and soft and and kind. And and that's what we saw. Like our trainer said, we're gonna try this horse, I'm getting this horse, let's try this horse. 
and we said okay we looked at the videos he sent us we looked at everything that he sent us and we all agreed he looks really quiet of course we'll try him so i think that's what what is so important here we didn't see an off-track thoroughbred that's young with potential problems or could have problems we saw what he was which was a quiet amazing horse that was slow moving and amateur friendly just like the ad said so that's why we decided to lease him because we gave him we tried we trialed him for a couple of weeks and he consistently seems to be that exact horse that was advertised and so that's why we chose him that's why we chose to lease him we didn't choose to lease him based on a label or or what he could be what he could have been we chose to lease him for who he actually is do you agree with that sophie yeah yeah and, and do you find him crazy no even with the, I, I throw balls at him and he yeah him. like he he definitely he goes to see what it is it doesn't make sense yeah he's very he curious do you find him very curious just like yeah. penny yeah he <sighs> penny's a little more scared than it penny. seems surprising like that is why we're taking everything so slowly because a lot of people have said like you're crazy he's gonna get bad because an because in all rights he should be sensitive he should be young he should be active he should be be all the things that people are afraid that he will be and we keep waiting for it and waiting for it and waiting for it and it hasn't happened but this week sophie this is so our massage therapist said that he's a bit tight in the back and if we get the chiropractor out we'll probably have a completely different horse we're a little nervous about having a different you horse. Are. I'm a little nervous about having a different horse because I don't know what that means. Does that mean he's gonna be like more I'm energetic? I the little bit of different horse means um, that he's gonna be a little bit more forward and easy to make canter. Yeah, so yeah, that could be it. He, so yeah, that is something. They said that like if your back end is a little bit tight, it's harder for you to go into a canter or horses that have like a bit of a tighter back end could anyways they, they said that that could happen so there's that and also he has been gaining weight and eating a lot of food and doing really well so and he's been on grass this whole like a while now he's been on grass and so we're gonna see we're gonna see this week you guys if ch chance changes and luckily for us we have set things up in a in a way that if he changes sophie can move on to another horse try a different horse we're not set in stone this is just like a long trialing a long trialing of a horse that seems to be a really good fit and we love him and we think he's amazing and we're really happy to know him he's taught us so much already Sophie's show vlog it was so fun it was so exciting I loved watching her I got like goosebumps watching her because she looked so confident and so brave wow you're doing it such a good job I love it look at how good it looks up there it's like a little park I spent all afternoon editing do you guys call your last meal of the day dinner or supper I've read up on this a lot and it depends on like what your ancestors were and where your and um and your geographical location we call it supper super curious though 
If you call it supper or dinner, I call it supper. Gabby, your shirt matches perfectly. Your pony. Hi, Penny. I know you love me. We have to wait our turn. We're last. Anyway, the horses go out every night for more grass now. I know this pet willow is getting a little chunky. I really thought Penny was going to run for it. She tried to run for it when we got in here, but I had her, her halter on. She's like, I am going to find the good stuff. Go, Gracie, go! Go! Go, Gracie, go! <laughs> She's like, eh, I just like the food. <laughs> you know your name, huh? <laughs> Remember Sam told you guys that he's going to try and clean up this area over here? So he's kind of started. Got a really big area down there all cleaned up. Because he wants to build like another side, another area where the horses can go out on both sides of the arena, which I love. But Sam I just brought this old thing. <laughs> home yesterday yesterday i think i think it's a baler so this is gonna bail our hay oh look at it. it has old hay in it that's weird but this is what it's gonna look like ew there's something living in it huh? gabby over there is the tree look there's something in there what is it i don't know i'm scared now yeah ew. So this is our new baler. It's old, it's new to us. We have every single tool we need now. Something was living in there. Oh, so Sam says when we do the new is bale. There bale. There's a bale in there. When the new one comes in, it'll push it out. So it's old, but it still works. And sometimes like with farm equipment, old stuff works really good. Wow. That's neat. So that's the baler twine. Look at that. That is neat. Dad, there's already string in it. Are you shocked? We're all excited about this? Yeah, you won't be excited. After two A. I know. So do you think we should do half of the horses' field because they don't even eat back there? I think we should bale as much as we can. Can you do this hill? Like this is a lot no, of hay. That has too many holes. Yeah. Anyway, it's exciting. Are you excited? He's like, yeah. It just means more work. Gabby, we're gonna teach you how. Dad's gonna teach you how to bale hay. Sophie and I'll go behind, and you know what we need now? One of those big, huge hay you, wagons. You drive, Your then... face is covered in pizza. Oh yeah, we do have a hay wagon. I thought you well, just... Normally you can pass a hay wagon to that and lift this up and it shoots out onto... It out to the... Wow. Well, it doesn't shoot it because they don't have the shooting part. But... Oh, well that's still fancy. I love it. Something that is going to make us more independent and more able to like save money. Even though it costs a lot of money to buy all these pieces. But we are officially in the hay making business, you guys. Don't you know that you're beautiful?